We're trying to get to 80,000 subscribers, and when we do, two lucky individuals will get to pick five wallets each from the 400 or so wallets I have in my inventory. That includes those that have been reviewed and not reviewed yet. All you need to do is subscribe below. If you're not subscribed, do it now because you might be able to win five wallets of your choice from my inventory. We're going to take a look at the top seven wallets that have been designed to work with Apple's AirTag Tracker Puck. Now, I won't be reviewing the wallet, just the functionality of how it incorporates the AirTag and its usability. And so if you're interested in any of these in particular, I've got uh, timestamps in the notes below. So let's get started. Of course, we have the Tars Camp Grain Wallet, the AirTag, the Spigen Wallet S, the Hawanik AirTag Wallet, the Frenchie Company Mini AirTag, the Geometric Goods Bifold AirTag, the Boss Box Slim AirTag, the WXM AirTag, and finally, this Mystery Wallet. Price, we always do price first, but as you can see, all the pricing we have here, some that are the price of the wallet that include a bit of an air tag to it. Some are very specialized, but you can get a feel from here. Tars Camp, here we go. We love Tars Camp wallets, and Sajid, the owner, continues to address market needs by coming out with an air tag capable version of his wallet. This is the grain wallet. And let's see, let's take this off, set this aside, and aha, here we go. This is where we have the AirTag. So let's see, it's a piece of leather that's sewn on here this way, just like that. Kind of snaps into place actually. And of course this opening is fitted specifically for the little groove area we have on the AirTag. Uh, it's held in here by the leather. You might think it could burst out, but it's not gonna do that. It's not gonna slip out here on the side. You can see how it folds down. And of course this will continue to mold. He also tweaked this design a bit. So now we have three stitches on either side. You can see that right here in the picture, which he says gives it a little more stability than you would expect. Now let's look at this from the side. You can see how the thickness profile fits. Not too bad, but it is obvious that you have an AirTag attached to your wallet. And of course, because the top of the AirTag is exposed, then it, this will garner a lot of scratches uh, over time. And I do want to apologize. I smashed my thumb here on my, on my thumb. Hmm. Now let's look. We have the Spigen. S. Let's uh, get into this. All right. Let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's take a look. Obviously, a ridge variation here. We've got metal on the inside here, plastic on these top plates. And you can see right here, we open this up just like this. This pops out, we position our air tag right here. And the important thing is when you put it in, you use these down tabs right here. These go in first, then it comes over the air tag, and then you have tabs on both sides here and on the top. And it's important that these click in place everywhere. And let's make sure we got them on the side. Hmm, let's see, okay. And on the side, great. So. Oop, nope, that didn't get into place either. There we go. All right, so we have the tabs all in place all the way around it. And again, this is what you would use to pry the top open. And my question was always with this, by dropping this, hmm, let's go kind of high. Hmm, would it cause it to pop out? And the answer is no. As mentioned, this external plate is plastic and it is a very tight fit for the AirTag. And due to this being a molded, piece, you can see the thickness is what you get. It, it kind of blends in with this, but you can obviously see, see the thickness of the top plate, and that's what you get when you have an air tag incorporated. Now, I wish they would have provided for a second plate, another one to replace this whole plate if you decided you didn't want to carry your air tag anymore, so you could use the wallet without it, and especially without having a big gaping hole here. The top of your air tag will get scratched. It is exposed enough. And of course, you carry this with keys or anything else that's rough, it will scratch up the top of your AirTag. What's next? The Hawanik, right here. Hawanik, or Hawanik, not quite sure. And open it up, and here we go, great. Set that aside. Well, what we're focused on is right here. This is the molded piece right here. You can kind of hear that. Yeah, this is where the air tag goes. It has a snap up here at the top and you can see that it's sewn halfway around. That being sewn halfway around, it keeps the base in place while the insertion point is up here with the snap. So let's get the air tag and pop this in. 
Again, we see that the leather scoops itself around the top edge right here, so it holds it into place. And then you just snap this in, just like, just like, there we go, just like that. And there we go. Again, not coming out. I wonder if through use this could snap open. Now, of course, you're not going to do this because you have cards in here and it keeps it pretty rigid. But this is a nice, nice holding uh, snap here. And of course, the back of the snap, I say of course, but luckily the back of the snap does not appear inside the wallet. So you're not going to have any interference with cards scratching or that kind of thing. However, you will with the air tag because the top is exposed. You get a feel for the side profile and what this does to the wallet. Again, it's interesting uh, to see how they incorporate manufacturers the profile in. And this is just pretty straightforward. You've got this piece right here that provides for the AirTag. Now they have several other wallets to look at. They also have a, a version of that's a hard shell that you can see right here. And then also a whole bifold version of this. This is a slim model, but they also have that uh, bifold and a hard shell, kind of like the Spigen. And again, if you're not using an AirTag, there's really no way to make this look like it's uh, a clean wallet. You just have a gaping hole here for where you had an AirTag. Mm, not preferred, but you know, hopefully you're using this for its purpose. Up next, oldie but a goodie, Frenchie Company. This is the mini AirTag. Let's get it out. All right. We've done a review on this. You can see in the notes below, and you can notice here that this wallet can function just fine, even though you know the AirTag goes right here without an AirTag, because even though it has a little uh, divot here, it's not gaping, and that's why this little leather puck is here. So let's open this up, get into the interior, and you can see right here is where the AirTag is inserted. Let's open up the curtain here, and let's get out the little leather puck, which takes the place of your AirTag. You get to choose between two colors, when you don't have the air tag in. If you didn't have that, you would be looking at this, which isn't all that attractive. At least they try and make it better. So you put the air tag face in like this, get it underneath, pop that up and over, and voila, you have the air tag in play. I, I've liked this wallet and I like this implementation. If you look at uh, its profile, it's really not too obtrusive. Now again, we haven't put cards in here because that will add a lot of pressure from here over into here. And because the cards, one of the concerns is, well, isn't this just going to pop out like that? Well, when you have cards in here and, and you're using the wallet the way you would normally use a wallet, no, you're, you're really not going to have that problem. Same problem where you have scratching on this uh, in your pocket over time. And it, you know the leather will form and conform to your body and your pocket. All right. Well, that's a mighty large box you've got there, Mark. Well, it is. Geometric Goods this is their bifold air tag wallet. And where we've had problems in the past with these prior wallets where it scrapes things up, this one disappears into the wallet. So, where is the air tag here? I put a card in here just to kind of show you what goes there. Hmm. Well, this thickness here should give away what's going on here. So, if we see we have a bolt here, we have a bolt in the back, and two screws, I can pretty much guarantee this is it. So let's get this in. Very small screws. So let's put this in. If you fold back the leather here, you have another flap right here. And in this flap is where it has its little home. Just fits right there. Flap goes down, flap goes on top, and screws are back in. Now let's see what we've got. Well, there is no way this <laughs> hair tag is getting out. If we open up the billfold area, you can see uh, from the back of this, nice and solid. And let's see how a card fits right here and this quick slot. Just fine. You know, the only thing that you see here is this big bulky area, which makes this wallet 0.6 inches thick just to begin with before you put in additional cards or cash here in the billfold area. But you know what? I like this because you're not showing off that you have a tracker in here unless you like to do that. And again, you can see how thick this is from the side. A slim wallet for an AirTag by BossBox. You're gonna take a look at, some, look at this and go, wow, Mark, I thought we already saw something like this. I know, we've seen one just like this, but stay with me. Hmm. But what I wanted to point out here is this. These little pieces right here more than anything else, they understand and recognize that being that your AirTag is exposed, it could get scratched. So they provide you protective film for the front and the back to be able to put on that. I think that's a nice thought. All manufacturers that have exposed air tags like this really should be thinking about this. And like wallet similar to itself, 
It does have a half sewn moon. It has a snap right here where you put your air tag in, very similar to what we saw, but that is what I wanted to point out to you. Now we've got a manly air tag wallet. WXM air tag wallet. Yes, indeed, right here. This is that uh, tactical version. It is built similar to the Ridge platform, but right here is where it goes. And I like this because it's an insert. So if you see the insert piece right here, uh, I'll show you how this functions, but it has these open tabs here on the back. And you can just peel this off just like that. We'll then get our air tag, put it in right here, face up. You can, then we put this in here and these snap back into place, all right? However, to be completely secure, they do come with four screws and a little screwdriver that you can secure these down. Personally, I, you know, I think you should because if not, this back can come, un, can fall off. And it's really integral to the way it attaches here. So we slip it into this tab right here, come down, open up that snap, and there we go. And it holds it into place. It's, this is not going to come out, and of course, unless this is not screwed into place. And then it would have a tendency to do that, especially if you dropped it. But here's what I like the most. You can, if you want, say, I don't want to carry my AirTag today, or I'm tired of it, or I've you know, moved on to some other new technology. You just remove it, and now you're left with a very functioning wallet that doesn't look bad at all. And finally, right here, carbon case for AirTag. Let's open this up. This is a bit involved. <clears throat> there are some great instructions here, but I'll just walk you through it. So the pieces we have, we have the actual holder of the AirTag right here that goes in on your uh, Ridge wallet. And uh, it's interesting to note what we have here. I'll explain that. What we also have is the carrier component. This is what attaches your new AirTag to your wallet, of which I've got a, whoops, woo, let's bring that in right here, a carbon fiber version of the Ridge wallet. So we'll set that right there. And then all we have left are some additional samples. This is if you want to do it again, again. And they're always so kind to provide you an extra Elastic in case one you have is wearing out and you can replace it. All right, so first We remove this little tab right here a bit of a sticky and the bit of the sticky here is so that we can place the air tag in and So it won't rattle around nice idea next we grab the top this top is what then connects the holder To what connects to the base. Oh, we've got adhesive in here. This adhesive will move over this right here, right there. You line up the pieces, get the adhesive going, and then, and you want to provide enough room, it's on this side opposite of the thumb push, and all you need to do is grab one of the screwdrivers that you have with all the many different ridge wallets you own. Never throw this away, and we'll loosen this one up just a little bit, have it come out, great. And you see how this begins to separate right here at the top. This is where you then take this piece. We do want this to stay. So, there we go. So it fits nicely in between both of the screw holes. Then we put the screws back, and you're in business. Just like that, looks really good on a carbon fiber wallet. If you were to put this on any other wallet, it would look like a big wart. You can see the profile here of how it sits. Uh, and it only comes in carbon fiber. So if you like the combination of carbon fiber and some other color, then fantastic. But I think it works best with the whole blackout we have going on here with the carbon fiber wallet itself. And there we go. If you like this, then look at this video next. Now, not everyone uses AirTags, but if you do and you've thought about it for your wallet, which one would be your favorite? Well, let me know in the comments below. We'll see you in the next review. Bye.